we're getting into the harvest period now um, and it's been a season that probably many are keen to draw a veil over. It's really the winter barley harvest that's the, the most advanced and probably, I mean, below average, but probably not as far below as, as people were worrying about. So particularly for the two row winter barleys, quality seems okay, uh, yield seems just a bit below average, but not desperate. A few quality issues being reported though in the, the hybrid barley, so lots of, of small grains there. Harvest for the other crops may be slightly delayed, so oilseed rape seems to have slowed down and we're still, the crops have been sprayed off, but we're still waiting for the harvest there. And winter wheat the same, um, very little progress uh, or start made on that crop. And really for the wheats, we can see differences in the, the resilience of the varieties. So some of the older varieties have been quite heavily diseased through the season and, and are not looking great. Others, the, the more disease resistant ones, are actually looking much better. We've got small amounts of, of lodging, sooty moulds uh, coming through on the, on the winter wheat crops. Uh, always worth checking if you've got areas of white heads or lodging because that could be something like eye spot or take all and that could inform your cropping decisions going forward. Spring barley is a little slow as well. Um, some of, certainly on heavier land, the spring barley is still very green. As you would expect for a very wet season, ramularia levels are becoming quite high, so we're seeing quite a bit of that in crops. Um, and maybe worth noting that we're seeing a few kind of blank grains as well, both in the spring barley and in the oats. And that could relate to kind of cold weather earlier in the season. Thoughts begin to turn to uh, what to do for cropping going forward. So in terms of your, your winter cereals, it's about picking resistant varieties. So looking at varietal risks and making good choices there, but also testing seed. So um, for winter barley and, and winter wheat, uh, check things like germination. But for example, in winter barley, we're seeing quite a lot of net blotch coming through. Um, so that's worth testing for diseases like that when you're doing your disease testing. Otherwise, um, we're progressing on other crops too. Um, for example, grass yields have been really good this year uh, and particularly rye for anaerobic digestate. So finishing on a, on a high point there, some of those yields have been very good. And for further information, you can look at fast.scot.